Hey guys, Sphinx Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a gorgeous alcohol ink and resin painted vase and a bowl. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin, and this is a glass vase that I have upside down on a plastic cup, and that is sitting inside a silicone mold. Please do me a favor and watch the entire video um, before commenting. This is two projects in one, so there is actually zero waste. I am using only three colors. I'm using a Ranger Black Alcohol Ink and then Pinata white and gold. Now someone had used this particular Ranger Black and they sent me a picture and it was this gorgeous green. So I really wanted to use that and get that specific color. And as you can see here, that black does not look black at all. It looks green, but uh, definitely stay tuned to see the end result. Now, because I'm making a bowl and a vase here, I do this in layers. Sometimes people get a little bit confused as to why I pour over the initial layer, and that is because I'm also making a bowl. If I tried to do it all in one layer, that bowl would be pretty boring. <laughs> so this gives it a really cool design. I start off with a little bit of resin, then add some alcohol ink, then a little more resin, then a little more alcohol ink, and so forth until I am pretty happy with my design on both the vase and in the bowl. I'm using about 12 ounces of resin and the mold that I have underneath the vase is 13 inches. I'm not filling it up completely. It takes a little more resin than that, but for a bowl, you don't wanna fill it up completely. That would be too thick and you'd have trouble actually shaping it into your bowl. So once again, about 12 ounces, and this is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And also be careful on the alcohol ink. Do not overdo it. I'm using just a couple drops of each color on each layer. And then basically I stopped when I was pretty happy with the design and thought it would look pretty cool. And I just let it run for quite a while. I ended up being about um, five minutes or so that I let it run. And I also did use some isopropyl alcohol, 91% on the um, silicone mold. And I gently used a heat gun at one point also on the vase and the silicone mold. You do not want to use a torch on your silicone mold. Um, you actually don't want to use a torch at all with this project, ideally, because <laughs> the isopropyl or the alcohol inks can actually light on fire. And also torches are very bad for your silicone mold. So I don't use a torch with this, just um, heat gun and or isopropyl alcohol. Once it was pretty much done dripping, I carefully lifted it up by the cup and I put the vase off to the side. And you can probably see it's looking pretty awesome already. And then use the heat gun again and a little bit more isopropyl alcohol on the silicone mold until it closed up and that helps it close up and get gets rid of the air bubbles don't overdo it with the alcohol just a light spritz and then i do also let it sit for about 15 minutes and then i come back and spritz it one more time with the alcohol just to make sure i've gotten all air bubbles once i'm done with that i let it sit for about six to seven hours depending on the temperature and then much to my surprise the green pretty much completely went away and it went back to black. So that's very interesting and uh, good to know about this particular alcohol ink. Now I demolded it after about six to seven hours and it should not be sticky at all. It should be very flexible. Um, if anything, it could be like a tiny, tiny bit tacky, but if it is, I recommend waiting a little bit longer and just waiting until it's just really flexible with not sticky tape takes typically about six to seven hours at least with this specific resin other resins will be different and it will depend on the temperature in your workspace i then molded it into this plastic bowl this is one from amazon it's about 100 ounces and i think the top is about 11 inches across you can shape it however you want to in here um, I like to have kind of really roughly edges and then I push it down fully and then that's it. <laughs> Let that sit in there overnight. This one popped out really easily. I don't use a mold release or anything. 
and here we have both of them dry. One last tip, I do recommend leaving that bowl inside the plastic bowl for a few days so it has plenty of time to cure. If you take it out a little too early, it can flatten out. So leave it in there for just a few days so it has time to cure. And I love, love, love the design on this. Definitely like the inside more than the outside. Um, there you go. And then here's the vase, which I think came out even better than I could have imagined. And of course it's alcohol ink, so it's fairly transparent on there. So don't expect to get something super opaque. I like to leave the drips at the top. I think they look awesome, but if you want to, you can sand them off if you're not a fan of them. Totally up to you. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.